Hello there, today we're going to take a look at the 3 best USB sound cards for gaming in the market for this year. We're going to show you our 5 best picks and we'll talk about whether or not you should buy it. We'll put the links to all of the products we mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Number 3. Epos Sennheiser GSX300. Epos, the company formerly known as Sennheiser's gaming division, has turned out something of a treat on its first attempt. The GSX300 sound card is compact and relatively inexpensive at around 70 British pounds, but it produces a great expanded sound stage and offers an immersive simulation of 7.1 surround sound on stereo headsets. High resolution sound is supported, up to 24 bit 96 kHz, and the GSX300 can drive headphones up to 75 ohms. That meant my 50 ohm Sennheiser HD 598SE worked fine, but the 300 ohm HD 600 is off the table. There's a volume dial on the front, which offers tactile steps, as well as a second button that can be set to switch between sound modes or different EQ profiles. The software works well, with convenient EQ settings and comprehensive mic controls, but it did sometimes stop working and require a restart. This should have been fixed in a recent software update, and hasn't occurred since in my testing. If you want a compact USB sound card at a reasonable price, the GSX300 is worth considering. Number 2. Creative Sound Blaster X3. The Sound Blaster X3 offers a step up in audio quality, with a higher grade sound processor that includes support for 32-bit 196kHz higher res audio. It can also drive more powerful headphones than the GSX300 we looked at earlier, with impedances up to 600 ohms supported. The larger frame also allows a marked increase in ports, making it more suitable for use with a desktop PC than the compact GSX300. The X3 includes separate 3.5mm headphone and mic ports on the front, with 5 for the 3.5mm ports on the rear for connecting up a full 7.1 speaker system, plus a line-in device. An SPDIF optical output is also provided. The larger size of the X3 means that the volume dial can be mounted on top, making it easier to spin with one finger, and there are three additional buttons for toggling sound processing, changing modes and muting your microphone. Recent discounts have made the Sound Blaster X3 a great value option if you can use its extra features over the GSX300. Number 1. Creative Sound Blaster AE9. The most expensive external sound card we currently recommend is the Sound Blaster AE9. This model actually sports both internal and external elements, but it still does largely the same job, replacing your desktop computer's integrated audio with a replacement that sports additional, electrically isolated ports, better sound processing and extra features. This hybrid approach does mean you'll need to have a free C-slot and a spare 6-pin power input to install the AE9, which may take some smaller PC builds out of the running. This also means that the AE9 is a complete non-starter for laptop use, and even moving it from desktop to desktop is something of an undertaking. The AE9 is the sound card that made me believe in sound cards again on a conceptual level, and if that's not enough of a recommendation I don't know what is. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video, if you like this video and it helped you out in any way please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button, hope to see you guys in the next video till next time I'll see you later.